Hello and welcome back to GCSE History Micro Teaching with Mr. Newmark. We're on medicine through time and in particular we're focused on ancient Egypt. Here are our three focus areas. Number one, explain the reasons for the development of Egyptian medicine. Number two, describe the achievements they did make. And number three, evaluate the role of their religious beliefs. We want to be able to say whether their religion helped them make medical progress or whether it actually held them back. Now perhaps the easiest way to understand ancient Egypt as a culture is to begin by considering the River Nile. The River Nile flooded once a year. This was called the inundation. And when it did so, it coated what would have been barren desert in thick, fertile soil. This made farming far easier and created wealth. And it also created time, because for certain periods, the entire Nile Valley would be underwater, making farming impossible and freeing up time for people to pursue other interests. Now this led, as well as increased wealth, to specialised doctors and metal workers, and this resulted in improved surgery. Egyptian doctors were able to remove tumours and growths from the outer part of the body in a far more efficient way than their prehistoric ancestors. The River Nile also greatly improved trading, because the Egyptians could use it to travel up and down on in their boats. Trading always benefits the civilizations involved, because it, in, it means the exchange of good ideas. You might hear about a useful medical herb or a useful medical practice in another country and bring it back to your own. Perhaps the single most significant achievement made by the Egyptians, again because of the Nile, all happened because of irrigation channels. Egyptian farmers wanted to spread the water from the Nile into as wide an area as possible in order to create more, more farmland. And to do this, they dug irrigation channels. They realised that crops would grow between and around these channels. And they also realised if one of these channels happened to be blocked, the crops behind it would die. The Egyptians linked this to the human body. They knew that there were vessels inside the human body which resembled these channels. Today we would call them veins or arteries. And they believed that these channels were the same, and that if one of these became blocked, that would cause you to become ill. Now this idea is clearly incorrect, but it is helpful, because it's a natural explanation, which means the Egyptians were starting to think in the correct way. It also led to a helpful focus on diet and hygiene. Egyptians would fast in specified periods in order to clear these channels, and they were very concerned with keeping clean, because they thought that if someone was dirty, those channels would be more likely to be blocked. A good example of this would be their priests who shaved all their body hair. Along the banks of the River Nile grew a certain reed called papyrus. Now papyrus, when dried, flattened out and stuck together, produces a very good paper, and this resulted in improvements in writing. Now, writing also benefits medical progress because it means that good ideas can be passed around and can also be passed down between generations. An Egyptian doctor would be able to read a book or a scroll written by a doctor 100 or 200 years before and learn from that. Another good example of this, again, would be herbs. They might read about a herb that, you, that worked to treat a certain sickness and they could use that on their own patients. Egyptian fishermen figured out that if they used the nets they used in the day to catch fish over their beds at night, mosquitoes were less likely to land on them and they were less likely to catch the disease that we now call malaria. Another concrete example of medical improvement. Now because of all of this, life for many ancient Egyptians was wonderful. And it's important here that we clear up a very serious misconception. The ancient Egyptians were not obsessed with death. They were obsessed with life and wanted it to continue forever. This is why they built pyramids for their pharaohs, because they believed that their pharaohs would live in these for eternity. It's also why they developed mummification, because they believed that the spirit would go back into the body after death, and then the body would continue to live for eternity. Now this meant the body had to be preserved, and to do this, you've got to cut into the body and remove the organs, because if they rot inside the body, the whole mummy will become useless. This meant they learned basic anatomy. They knew where the heart was, they knew where the lungs were, they knew where the liver were. And they also made improvements in herbs, because the herbs used to preserve the body were also useful in medicine and also in bandaging, for obvious reasons. However, their religion stopped them doing any experimental dissection, because they believed 
that the body would be needed after death. This meant you could not do experiments on it. You could not remove an eye to see how it worked, because that would mean that when the spirit re-entered the body, the body would come back lacking that eye. Another good example of this was in the Egyptians' lack of understanding of the importance of the brain. When they mummified a body, it would usually be taken out of the skull using a hook through the nose and thrown away. This proves that although they knew what the shapes and how all the parts of the body fit together, they didn't always know their importance or what they did. Egyptian religion also was an explanation for disease. When all channel theory failed, and when all their practical measures failed to explain the disease, something that happened often because they didn't know the true causes of illness, they would turn to their goddess Sekhmet and blame her, or pray to her to release them from the epidemic. And they would also carry amulets, for example, this ant, to ward off the evil spirits that they believed caused diseases just as their prehistoric ancestors had done. That's it for ancient Egypt. Let's quickly review the focus questions and then we'll finish. Number one, can you now explain reasons for the medical development of the ancient Egyptian civilization? Number two, can you describe what their achievements were? And number three, have you made your mind up yet? Do you think ancient Egyptian religion mainly helped them make discoveries or didn't hold them back? Thank you very much for listening. More videos to follow. And as it's a video on ancient Egypt, there's only one way to leave.